It really has been a year of cost rise after cost rise, hasn't it? With first energy bills, then water bills rising dramatically, and so on and so forth. This time, water bills are set to rise dramatically in England and Wales by approximately 7.5% a year on average. Water bills, including related costs like sewage, meanwhile, are set to rise exponentially. However, there's not reason to lose hope just yet, as there are in fact numerous ways with which to cut your costs in advance of any possible price rises. I'm Liam from Hot UK Deals, and we're all about saving the consumer, that's you, as much cash as possible. Let's take a look at the best ways to save cash whilst making a splash. Let's start with the basics and explain the situation a little bit. Some parts of England and Wales will see above inflation rises in water prices, however, many parts of the country will in fact see much smaller increases. This is because prices actually depend on where you live. The biggest increase will be hit by Anglian water customers who are facing a combined increase of 10.5% across water and sewage bills, as well as Saffron customers, I can't pronounce that in Welsh, will see a more than 12% difference, although their bills are smaller than in other parts of the UK. These figures, however, are averages as there's actually regional variations and other individual factors, such as whether you've got a meter or how much water you use. But those in Scotland, meanwhile, it actually depends on your council tax band as it's covered by a combined service charge. Water bills, however, are going up highest, unsurprisingly, for those who have combined water and sewage costs, with the highest at 12%, being much, much more than Southwest Water, for example, who only have a 1.8% increase. The Consumer Council for Water says that although water companies have tried to absorb these extra costs, pun intended, it's simply a postcode lottery, with many customers who can't afford their bills simply sipping through the net. Should this be you, here are some of the best ways to reduce your bills or access support. Our first tip, and one that's super easy to overlook, is to see if you benefit from a water meter. If you have more or the same number of bedrooms in your house than people, then it's definitely worth seeing if you'd benefit from a water meter. It's important to emphasize that not everyone will actually save with a water meter, but water companies do in fact give you two years to trial one of them, and you can simply switch back at any point if you're unhappy. If you're unsure, the Consumer Council for Water has a water meter calculator on its website, and this can help you to work out if you'd actually save by picking one up. Now, I know this tip sounds ridiculously obvious, but some of the methods with which to achieve it certainly are not. But it really, really pays to reduce your hot water usage. So much of the water that we often use in the home comes from the hot tap, meaning installing a water meter helps to double up on both water as well as energy savings. Studies that have shown that having daily shower time from 10 minutes to 5 minutes could mean a saving of more than 700 quid per year, which is the amount from both the combined electric and water savings. On that note, you can also reduce both your water and electricity usage by installing a water efficient shower head. Our third tip is to sign up for a water social tariff. Sadly, you can't change the water company that you're with, unlike with gas and electricity in the UK, but you may in fact be able to switch your tariff. All water companies will offer reduced tariffs to low income customers and households, but the eligibility of this type of support varies from company to company. However, many people don't know about this kind of help. Often, to access it, you'll need to contact your water company directly. If you're concerned about your water usage, however, it's also definitely worth requesting water saving devices from the water company that you're with. Many companies offer such devices for free, and these can and should shave pounds off of your bills. These freebies usually consist of shower timers, buffalo bags, as well as things such as leaky loo detection stripes. Water saving devices on your toilet system, for example, could save you between one to three liters every time you use your loo. Other devices such as water butts usually store about 200 liters of water when fitted. As well as being better for watering plants, using rainwater in the garden reduces the treated water that you use. It's also definitely, definitely worth installing a water efficient shower head, with the cheapest of these being between 10 to 15 pounds. These shower heads can save you both water and electricity, with the average shower using between 10 and 15 liters of water per minute. However, these shower heads instead use only approximately 8 liters, which is considerably less and could in turn reduce your bill massively. There are also tons of little everyday things around the house that can massively help with your water usage. One of these is to fill up a jug of cold water. This is a small everyday action that's really easy to fix. You just get that in the fridge every day and that way you always have a supply of cold water without running to the tap so much. And especially for thirsty people like me, this is super useful. Other Hot UK Deals users have also suggested to us one more tip, namely to make sure that you use your leftover cooking water or water from rinsing your veg. This is great to water your plants with or to use on the garden. If you've got a dishwasher, meanwhile, dishwashing actually saves around 6,000 liters a year and not pre-rinsing your dishes before they go in saves another thousand liters per year. We've already done a fabulous video on saving up on many of your energy bills, including water in fact, so make sure to give that a wee view for more essential advice on saving money around the home. With so much of our everyday spend increasing exponentially for over a year or so now, this news will no doubt be a real annoyance for some of us and push the other ones of us yet further closer towards fuel poverty for others, with a big variation between areas of the country. What do you think of the price increases, or perhaps you've a fab way with which
viewers to save or skimp on your water bill around the home or elsewhere. Don't forget, of course, to have your say and leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. And certainly, of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel here so you never miss out on all of the very best ways to save. All links are in the bio. Thanks for watching from Hot New Kidians.